else. Stacy, the governor says he wants to hear from the people about how the state should spend taxpayer money. He's outlined goals for the next state budget, and as you can imagine, it has a lot to do with jobs and the workforce. Over the next several weeks, I want to have a conversation with you, the people of Wisconsin, about the best ways and the best ideas to fix problems and build a better state. That's the governor's sentiment as he begins his statewide tour focusing on spending. At the forefront is creating jobs and training a workforce. The days of getting a high school education and being educationally set for life has pretty much gone the way of the dinosaur. Kramer Rock has run a temp service company in Green Bay for more than 30 years. In that time, the kinds of jobs available have changed from a lot of manual labor and blue collar jobs to service, service, service. Years ago, you brought brawn, uh, a strong back to the, to the uh, job. Today, you got to bring a brain. Right. Rock says government initiatives to help train people for skilled manufacturing jobs or to work in the Fox Valley's emerging medical and insurance industries is a good thing if taxpayer money is not wasted. I would suggest to the governor that if you're going to do it, get as much information as possible. Just don't throw money at something because it feels good. Beginning in Green Bay, the Talk with Walker tour will also hit La Crosse, Eau Claire, Wausau, and the Milwaukee area. Job-wise, it has been a bit of a mixed bag in northeast Wisconsin. In the last few months, we've had layoffs at companies like Oshkosh Corp, but also expansions at Mercury Marine and Aaron's company. Walker likely to focus on how those companies are able to grow as he talks job creation in the coming weeks. Jonathan Gregg, NBC26.